Fredericksburg, Virginia is one of the fastest growing areas in Virginia that still has this cool small town feel. And that's probably because it's known as America's most historic city due to four major Civil War battlegrounds just within minutes. Hi, I'm Sean Derrick. I'm your local real estate agent right here in Northern Virginia. I love helping people just like you relocate to Northern Virginia. So let me share with you three top reasons why people love moving to Fredericksburg, and that is culture, location, and price point. So let's talk culture first. Well, it's a college town. <laughs> college towns often bring arts, attractions, life, entertainment, and the University of Mary Washington does not disappoint. It's a great university that has been voted among the best colleges by Princeton Review, actually. Uh, and if you enjoy sports, yes, University uh, of Mary Washington has some sports, though Fredericksburg is also known to be the home of the minor league baseball team, the Fredericksburg Nationals. We call them the Fred Nats. Now, they are an affiliate team to the World Series champions, Washington Nationals, which you can go see them just about an hour and a half away. So if you are not a baseball fan, but maybe more of a motorsports fan, there's Dominion Raceway where every week there are motorsport events. So much to do. Now, good culture needs good food, right? <laughs> well, check that box off because there is a large local foodie scene with, a, with amazing restaurants in Fredericksburg. And one of those amazing restaurants actually named itself Foodie. <laughs> Not kidding. Uh, it was so committed, uh, it named itself that. But don't worry, they followed through with what they promised because it has been rated among the top 50 restaurants in Northern Virginia. And there's actually five restaurants uh, that have that prestigious award in Fredericksburg. Fahrenheit 132, which is a steakhouse, Almond's Barbecue, Benny's Pizza, Agora Coffee Shop. So amazing food options in Fredericksburg. Now, yes, good culture needs good food, but it also needs good drinks. Don't go any further than checking out the Fredericksburg Beer Trail that has nine local breweries that you can just stop by, enjoy a drink. A lot of them even have food trucks and food. So it's not just a town that likes to eat and drink here, okay? Uh, it is an outdoorsy culture as well. You know, the Rappahannock River runs directly through downtown Fredericksburg, and that offers us a lot of fun, like tubing down the rapids and the river in the summer, uh, swimming, jumping off rocks, kayaking year-round, and even a lot of fishing. Uh, every spring, there's a big shad run that fishermen love to be able to fish the river. Now, something you probably didn't really know about Fredericksburg <clears throat> when, it come to, when it comes to the outdoorsy nature of the culture is that it is named as the second best town for disc golf in the U.S. Isn't that something? Second best small town for disc golf uh, in the U.S. And if you've never played disc golf, it's a blast. And it's inexpensive, so you can just do it as a family, which is really neat. But Fredericksburg has also earned the status of a runner-friendly community which is actually a prestigious honor to receive because it means there has to be a lot of trails and street systems that are conducive for runners. Now, I don't personally know all of them yet. <laughs> I, need, I need to, uh, though I do love the accountability because I always see runners all over the place. Uh, okay, even though a lot of people are healthy in Fredericksburg, uh, it also has a great culture of healthcare. You know, Mary Washington Healthcare has two hospitals three emergency departments, and actually 40 outpatient facilities. Uh, and the newest happening is that the VA is building the largest veteran clinic right now, which will serve, I think they're saying over 29,000 veterans a year. So all in all, it is a great culture. Second reason why people love moving to Fredericksburg is its location. And I'll add commuting options. Okay, so let's talk location. Now, when people say Fredericksburg, that could mean two areas. They could be talking about Fredericksburg City proper or Fredericksburg or greater Fredericksburg area. All right. And it's important to understand that because many homes share the Fredericksburg mailing address, but are actually in different counties like Stafford County or Spotsylvania County 
or of course, Fredericksburg City. And the only reason that really matters is that the taxes are different in every single one of those areas. So just keep that in mind. Uh, now here is Fredericksburg on the map. You will see that it is right between two amazing cities, Washington DC and Richmond. And both are just about an hour away. Uh, but what's cool is that you're also near the mountains and the beach. So the mountains toward Charlottesville is about an hour and a half away. Uh, and then of course you have the sunshine <laughs> right down towards Virginia Beach, which is just about two and a half hours away. Now I-95 runs north and south and passes right through Fredericksburg. And this is a main interstate that takes you up and down the entire East Coast. Uh, I think they said literally over 150,000 vehicles drive by Fredericksburg every day, uh, which really just makes it an easy access point for personal travel. Uh, but then also running east and west is Route 3, and that takes you to Route 301, Route 29, which really just takes you to most places uh, out towards the east and west. Simply having all of these primary roads just makes travel that much simpler for residents. So since Fredericksburg is smack in the middle between DC and Richmond, commuting options really is a big deal because many work in DC and commute for work. Many work in the military bases. We have three military bases, Quantico, AP Hill, and Dahlgren. So here are three commuting options just for you to be aware of. One of course is drive yourself. <laughs> uh, and if you do, keep in mind traffic, it can take your commute to go from 45 minutes easily to an hour and a half. Uh, though the good news is that I-95 does have HOV three lanes, which are fast lanes. Uh, and if you have three or more in the car, it's free. Or if you have less than three, you just simply have to pay. Now it really is fun passing by all the traffic when you're driving on the fast lanes on the other side but it can cost you between 20 to $40 one way to DC if there's a lot of traffic. So keep that in mind. And that is also why a lot of people utilize the commuter lots. And that's the second way uh, to be able to travel. There are a handful of commuter lots in the greater Fredericksburg area where you can park your car, hop on a van pool, and, and the van pool actually drives you to Northern Virginia or DC, or you can just simply carpool. So if you like that, keep an eye out for buying a home maybe that's near commuter lots. Then the third prominent way of commuting is by the train. Now in Fredericksburg, there are two train stations to take advantage of uh, for, or that have Amtrak and VRE. And these go north and, and south. They stop in many ideal locations for you to actually travel to work that way. A lot of people enjoy the train because one, yeah, you get to do some work actually, because they have Wi-Fi uh, while you travel or potentially sleep, depending upon what time you're going to work. Uh, and lastly, uh, about commuting, a little tidbit is the airports. You have many to choose from actually, which is great because you can shop the flight prices, right? You drive an hour north to Reagan National, hour 15 to Washington Dulles, two hours to BWI, or go south an hour to Richmond International. Uh, and if you by any chance fly chartered planes a lot, then you can actually, well, go to Fredericksburg Regional Airport to utilize that option as well. In summary, the location is amazing and commuting options are plentiful, which is great for people moving here to Fredericksburg. The third reason people move to Fredericksburg is its price point. Now out of all of Northern Virginia, Fredericksburg offers some of the lowest prices for some amazing homes and communities. Now you have options of owning acreage, you have options of subdivisions with amenities, many different kind of home options. Though the median price point is and can be around $200,000 lower in the greater Fredericksburg area than areas more north like Fairfax, for an example. Now the median price point in Fairfax is 625,000 versus the median price point in Fredericksburg area is around 425,000. So you can see why many people love to move to Fredericksburg. Uh, you simply just get more home for your money or maybe the same amount of home for less money. It's a win-win. Now the other financial reason actually that people like moving to Fredericksburg is taxes are lower. Uh, I'll just keep using for, uh, Fairfax as a comparison real quick. Uh, in Fairfax, it's actually $1.11 per $100 of tax value versus the, the lowest area in the greater Fredericksburg area is 7.4 cents. So uh, what that means is, let's say a $625,000 house, 
Well, that's a $2,200 savings a year simply by living in the Fredericksburg area. So let's wrap this up. If the culture, location, and price points of Fredericksburg excite you, we would love the opportunity to help you find the best home that meets your goals. And if Fredericksburg itself doesn't meet your goals, we would be honored to help you find the right location that does. Well, I look forward to hearing from you. You can find my contact information in the description below. Feel free and give me a buzz, give me an email. God bless.